Hey! Hello! Welcome to Alchemy Now, where we share simple, simple practices, simple change in perceptions that remove the blocks to the awareness of love's presence, which increases our peace, our joy, and our happiness in our everyday seeming lives. Hey, Randy! Uh, we are going to work out of A Course in Miracles Lesson 68, which is Love Holds No Grievances. But before doing that, remember at the beginning of the workbook it says, You do not have to believe, welcome, or accept any of the ideas that we're sharing with you. Some of it may be hard to believe. Some of it you may actively resist. You're not being asked to judge or analyze it. Of course, you know, we always do, but we're not being asked to judge or analyze it. We're asked to use the ideas, and it is the use of the ideas that will give them meaning and show you, me, us, them, the turtle, oh wait, the jellyfish, that they're true. It's that simple. All right, lesson 68. Love holds no grievances. Well, what's a grievance? A grievance is wishing that someone or something were different in order for us to be happy. You know, if they stop saying that or stop doing that, or if they do this instead of that, or they said this instead of that. So it's always wishing something were different in order for us to be happy. Crazy. That's why we're always trying to control and manipulate and change everyone and everything in the world, so we can be happy. By holding grievances, we cannot know our self. Remember? Big S. We cannot know our higher self, the truth of who we are. By holding grievances, it seems, it seems, it only seems, to split us off from God. shut off from our higher self, our true self. Our true self seems to be asleep. Crazy. It's not. It's just we, we think that it is. By holding grievances, it makes us believe God is like us. You know, guilty, sinful, angry, weak, upset, pissed off, on his, her way to death. You know, we take what we think we are and now we think God is like that. Crazy. So those of us who hold grievances, those of us who wish people, places, and things were different in order for us to be happy, we suffer guilt. We suffer guilt. Remember, guilt we think we deserve punishment if there's guilt. And now those of us who forgive, those of us who change our interpretations of everyone and everything, it's certain we will find peace. Yay! So when we change our perceptions about everyone and everything, we will find peace. Woohoo! That's good news. All right, so we're reading the book while talking to you, so, you know. Right now, right, right now, right now, ask yourself these two questions. One, who do I currently have a grievance with? Who do I wish were different? Who, who is it? Who is it? Who is it? You got them? You got them? Picture them in your mind. Close your eyes. Imagine them. Feel them. Now say to yourself, while imagining them, you know the one that pisses you off, that you wish were different, that you wish wouldn't do that thing or would do this instead? I would see you as my friend. I would see you as my friend. That I may remember that you, you are part of me and may come to know my big S self. Myself, seeing you as a friend and remembering 
that we share a self. I remember myself. Cool. Now think of yourself as completely safe. Completely safe. At peace. At peace with everyone and everything. I'm at peace with everyone and everything. Imagine that. Feel that. All right. You're at peace. Safe in the world that protects you and loves you. And you love it in return. Wow. How cool is that? A world where you feel peace, safe, and protected that loves you and you love in return? Attempt to believe, however briefly it may be, that nothing, no thing, nothing, nada, nunca, can harm you in any way. Nothing, no thing can harm you, me, them, us, in any way. While imagining this and feeling this, say, love holds no grievances. Love holds no grievances. When I let my grievances go, I will allow... Oh, oops. <laughs> when I let my grievances go, I will know I am perfectly safe. Love holds no grievances. When I let my grievances go, I will know that I am Perfectly safe. Perfectly safe. Okay, today, whenever thoughts arise, whenever grievances come up against someone or something, including the me that I think that I am, say, love holds no grievances. Let me not betray myself. Remember, that's capital S. Let me not betray myself. Let me not betray myself. Love holds no grievances. Love holds no grievances. Yes, I'm reading and love holds no grievances. Love. Love holds no grievances. Zero. None. I accept everyone and everything as they are. Don't need to try and change them. Don't wish the water were a different color. Don't wish something else was going on. Love holds no grievances. I accept everyone and everything as it is now, knowing that I am at peace, knowing that I'm, at, I'm safe, knowing that I am in a world, or I believe that I'm in a world, that's perfectly safe. And nothing here, not even that, nothing here can harm me. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Love holds no grievances. That's a big jellyfish. All right, several times an hour today, tomorrow, whenever you feel inspired to do it, kind of like he's inspired to swim. Love holds no grievances. I would wake to myself, remember big self, higher self, the truth of who we are, by laying all grievances aside and wakening in him and wakening in God. So when I lay all my grievances aside, all those rotten SOBs that piss me off, everybody that I wish were different, everything I wish were different, when I lay those aside, I waken in God. Simple, easy, simple, easy. Anytime I'm upset about someone or something, Wanting them to be different, that's a grievance. Remember, love holds no grievances. Let them go. Let them go. Accept and allow everything to be as it is, trusting that the one who's planned it all out is doing it for your benefit, for your good. All right, so love holds no grievances. Today, today, every day, I have a grievance against Anyone, including you, meaning me, anytime I have a grievance, I choose to remember that love holds no grievances. Let me not betray myself. 
Love holds no grievances. Remember, love created me like itself. I am as God, love, created me. How can I hold grievances? How can I wish things were different, knowing that all of it's happening for my benefit to remind me of the truth that it's impossible for you, for me, even though we think that we're separate, to be separate from our Creator. Remember, we are a thought. Okay, a thought within the mind of God. We've never left. We're only dreaming that we left. Love holds zero grievances. Love holds no grievances. Let me not betray myself. Hey, thank you to the fish, the dolphins, the, the whales, the turtles, the jellyfish. To you, to me, to them, to all of it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for uh, checking us out. Remember, uh, there's that new and exciting, woohoo, Danny43.com, D-A-N-I-43.com. Any questions, you can always call me, email me, text me, send smoke signals, carrier pigeon, whatever. Thanks for helping us remember and reminding us that love holds no grievances. I'm not this body. I am free, for I am still as God created me. Thanks, as always. We'll see you the next time we dive in the ocean, fly in a hot air balloon, paraglide, whatever. We love you. Deuces.